Hi guys. Okay, um, it's Vlogtober the 2nd and I was going to vlog while I was out today. I went into town to meet Martin for lunch and um, just do a little bit of shopping and things. Unfortunately, my phone charger is not working and I've had to buy a new one while I was in town. So my phone wasn't um, charged enough for me to use it. So I'm just doing a quick little um, vlog now to show you the magazines I got. Now I don't normally buy magazines of this nature because I'm very much a believer that you can find it all online. However, sometimes I like to treat myself and it's coming up to the evenings where I want to curl up on my comfy seat and you know look through a magazine. So I I treated myself and I bought three um, and they were £15 altogether. So and that's the first magazines I've bought since this time last year, so I don't think £15 is too much. Um, it's basically an entire book. Um, this one is called The Artist. Uh, these are obviously UK magazines. I don't know if they'll be available elsewhere. This one is printed by paintersonline.co.uk. So they've almost certainly got some of the articles online that you can go and have a look at. I'll leave that link down below. Uh, it came with this, which is an art courses and holidays for 2013, which I thought might be quite nice actually. It's It's got a lot of local places uh, like Pembrokeshire, Cornwall, Essex, so I thought I might have a flick through that and see if I can find somewhere that perhaps I can go away for a week and you know take the dogs with me and just have some time out where I'm not online and I'm not having to do 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 all the time. It would just be really nice to have some time out. So I shall have a look at that. I haven't looked at it yet, so I don't know what it's like. Um, this particular magazine, I don't normally buy ma art magazines at all, to be honest. But the one I really wanted was £17, so I wasn't spending that. Uh, and this one has lots of different um, tips and tricks. It's got um, a step by step on oils, which I've got to do an oils study uh, for summer long. That's my big project. Um, there's impressions of cityscapes and there's tips on watercolour sketching on plain air. Um, now those of you who are doing um, my journal classes, uh, whether you've done Summer Long or you're doing uh, Christmas Chronicles or you're doing next year's journaling um, class, um, that is exactly the kind of thing that we are going to start looking at. Now that's not entirely everything. Um, but you know, knowing how to set up to paint landscapes and things, and you know, play, painting from out, out of your window, just simple things. I love the colours in these; they're so pretty. This is by artist Sarah Bowman. Um, she looks familiar. I think I might actually follow her on Facebook. I'm not sure. <laughs> um, Then you've got um, very detailed work. Uh, I'm not going to go too into massive depth on this, but um, this is this is the bit that I was particularly interested in. It's um, stylizing your watercolors, um, and it's all to do with lost and found edges. So um, a lost edge, for instance, would be this one. Let me show you a lost edge. Whoops shadows. A lost edge would be that white one there. See where it disappears? There is no edge, it's just two colours. Um, whereas this is all edged. Ed edged. Edged? <laughs> edged. Um, and there's some darker lines in there to kind of give it an illustrator's feel. Uh, so this is all... I, don't, I just love this um, kind of free loose way of painting and it's not something I'm overly good at so I thought that would be nice to play with. This is the oil study. Um, there's one on using lots of colour in an abstract way which again is something I'm not great at. I'm colour blind so you know colour isn't exactly my forte. There's this um, artist Peter Graham in Sydney who's done lots of oils and watercolour studies um, on cityscapes in the, all these hugely bright colours. Um, English watercolour sketchbook, which is Charles Reed, that's the one sketching on plain air and doing all this kind of thing, which is what I like to do. Sorry about the shadows. It's very dark in here today and I've had to put the light on. 
Um, so yeah, if you're in the UK, this is a, a good buy, I think. Um, it's got a section on distinction. Ooh, a fox. I love foxes. I like that one. Drawing animals, adding animals to your landscapes, drawing interiors, again, so all similar thing. So it's, it's all very much the kind of thing that I enjoy doing. So I there was a lot in this one. So that's The Artist. Uh, it's October 2013. The website is www.painters-online.co.uk and it's £3.90 cover price. I bought mine in WH Smith's. And then I bought two crochet books. Now, uh, this was the one... Sorry, this was the one I wanted uh, because it's got two projects in it that I absolutely adore. It's called Love Crochet. It's the Autumn 2013 edition, issue 5 and it's cover price 4 99 again WH Smiths. And I'll just quickly show you. There's lots of different things in here, you know, lots of cool stuff. But the two projects that I really, really wanted to look at in this one, there is uh, this which is kind of a poncho, it's a very loose poncho in a, a nice patterned knit, uh, crochet, knit. Uh, I've actually started that last night already. Um, I also found, while I was browsing through it, this, the, the babushka doll, which, you know, I love babushkas, I think they're so cute. Um, so I may have a go at her as well. Um, I'm not sure what they call that. Har Aragami or something like that? I don't know, it's, it's crochet origami basically. Uh, there's also this one, which is a uh, little squares one, so you can make it as big or small as you like. I may try that one as well. Uh, but the one I really wanted it for... Let me find him. Talk amongst yourselves. La la la. Where is he? Here he is. Look! He's a scarf fox. Isn't he cute? And he's got a little white tail as well. Isn't that adorable? I want to make one. I've got to make one. I, I have to make one. <laughs> he's so cute. So, um, yeah, that's going to be one of my Christmas Christmassy type projects. Even if I don't make him and I just like hang him on the back of a, a sofa or something, he's really cute. You could easily make him short and put his tail on and then, you know, it's not really a scarf, it's just like a a chair topper or something. He would be adorable, wouldn't he? So that's why I wanted this one, but there's actually lots of other projects in it that makes it worth the cover price of £5.99. Um, this one was a bit of a splurgy kind of, ooh, I fancy that, because I, I flicked through and there were lots and lots of things in it that I really liked. This is, <coughs> it says new, so perhaps it's the first issue, I don't know. Oh, it says, yeah, 01. So it's the first issue of this one. It's called Crochet Gifts for Christmas. Um, it's got the Naughty Elf in it, which I know a lot of my friends are doing. Um, I'm not sure if that's where they got the um, thing from. Um, 52 projects. So, you know, you could keep it for next year and do one a week if you wanted to. And there's some really nice stuff in here. There's little cute things. There's lots of very basic stuff like crochet blankets and granny squares and stuff. That creepy elf on the shelf thing. Um, but there's also things, useful things like hand warmers and stuff that are useful for kids, uh, for stocking fillers. And, you know, little, little animals. Aren't they cute? Look at that little white, little black cat. Isn't he cute? Um, I don't like that blanket, but I'm sure somebody would. <laughs> My grandma would probably like it. Um, cute little baby clothes. You know, that's the kind of thing that if you really can't find what you're looking for, you could knock one up in an evening, probably. Um, evening bags, cardies, little animals. More little animals. They've got little reindeers and all sorts. Um, bubbles for the tree. Garlands. Bags. Just about everything. Um, it's all sorts of stuff in here. So, um, oh, um, these stocking stuffer things. I don't know why they call them stocking stuffers, but isn't that clever? Like um, 
crocheted mistletoe and holly and things. I thought that was really clever. Crocheted lights, crocheted bulbs, crocheted wreaths, crocheted bangles, crocheted cactus. I don't know where they came, got that from. Um, tags for your presents, all that kind of stuff. You know, just quick and easy things that you could do five or six of them in an evening. Um, I think it's I think it's a little overpriced for what it is. It's um, uh, 7.99 is the cover price, which I I thought was a little bit steep. Um, but then again, it's 52 projects, and this one is 35, and that's five pounds. So eight pounds for 52. It, it's on a par, but I thought seven pounds was seven, uh, eight pounds was just a little bit steep. But um, there was enough in it that I thought it was worth getting just as a treat. It's not something I would buy every single time it came out or, you know, like if it was a monthly thing, I wouldn't pay that kind of money for it. Um, but it does say gifts for Christmas, so maybe it's just a one-off book. Um, in which case, if it's a book of 52 projects and that's what it's meant as, then I suppose £8 isn't bad. Uh, I would have preferred a Kindle version, but you can't have everything. So that's my magazines I bought. Um, rather pleased with those. This one especially for the journalers out there. I recommend you go and get this one. It's like I say WH Smith's October 2013 so it'll be going off soon because it's October now and usually around about the 10th it starts going into next month. Our magazines are weird. So there you go that's my magazines that I got today and I didn't get anything else. Well I did get a couple of bits and pieces but nothing you really want to see. Uh, I did oh I did do my Where's my journal? I did my um, haunted house for the day. I think I showed you yesterday's. Uh, today I did the Bates Motel from Psycho. I've posted a picture on my blog and also on Journal Gypsies. I had a very interesting question this morning that I think I'll probably dedicate an entire vlog to uh, because it was talking about this kind of stuff um, and how to start doing this when you're used to just writing or just drawing. So um, yeah, I think I might look into that tomorrow and talk about that a little bit tomorrow. Tomorrow I've got a really, really crazy busy day. I'm hoping I'll get time to vlog. Uh, I should do. I should do. Um, I've had a very interesting question on email, so I might address that tomorrow. Uh, in the meantime, have fun. Do go and visit journalgypsies.com. I've got to rush off and go and get some dog walking done. Um, because I've been out all day and they've been stuck in the house and they're getting a little bit restless. So, yes, I should go off and do that and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.